Well, hello again. Uh, thank you for coming back and checking my channel out. I just wanted to give you guys some ideas, uh, tips and tricks, pros and cons of a little bit of what I've learned about stamping today. Um, I It's like my new craze thing, I love it. Um, I don't really like to do the traditional like black and white stamping. Um, on my nails actually right now, I did like a sheer water marble and then I did a silver, twirl stamp over it which is kind of okay you uh which is kind of like sheer you can't really see it too much but um it still has a really pretty effect in the light so i wanted to show you guys a little bit about what i did um but i don't <laughs> really have nails to do it with right now because i'm all full um I kind of have my nail, my little fake nail art mat here that I painted a few different colors on so I can show you the stamping and then I can peel them off later if they turn out really nice and use them as the decals or the stickers for my nails. So on this first line here, I have this really awesome color that I actually got in my Ipsy box and it is Vavoom. And it's a really nice, deep, dark, thick, kind of a matte polish when it's finished. It's like a purpley blue navy color. Um, then I have my new go-to cheap black. Here is the LA Colors Black and it is crazy opaque, really, really great with one coat. Then I have some sinful colors here, a little bit of OPI green. Here's some like shimmery purple and I'll hold this up later so you guys can see the colors more clearly. This is just one coat of a OPI, or excuse me, an Orly White. Um, a little bit of LA Colors Sheer Pink and then this is something special. I actually was playing around just before the video on a little bit of a water marble on a stamper. I've never done this before and it actually came out really, this one's coming out, it came out really nice. So uh, what I had done here is put some clear nail polish on and let it get kind of tacky. And I'm gonna see if I can stamp this off for you guys. So it's kind of dry, a little tacky. So I'm gonna start by lining up the sides and rolling my marshmallow stamper. Oh my gosh, you guys, it looks so pretty. So I'm just going to kind of touch the edges down. And what you could do is go around with your clear polish again or your non-smearing top coat if you have found one um, and seal down the edges. And actually, I think I'm going to do that a little bit later and then do a little stamping over it. Anyways, let's move on. So I'm going to clean up my marshmallow stamper here. Um, I just like to use like a craft tape. Some people use like just any kind of sticky tape. Clear tape is popular. And I'm just gonna smush that all over the top and the sides. I'll clean the others up later. I just want the top, this little squishy part, to be oil-free, lint-free, clean. I actually have four different kinds of stampers. That was the marshmallow stamper. This is like a rubbery double tip stamper that I got from my nail lady. Um, and this is kind of firm. I also have my favorite stamper of all time, my super cheap, super awesome jelly stamper. I saw this reviewed online and it was very expensive, um, but I got it for like $1.79 and a dollar shipping on Amazon. So let's move on to a little bit of our stamping. So I, what I'm gonna do here is I picked this really fun, cool, almost like a henna stamper. This is a really cheap set that I got um, on, again, Amazon. I got like 10 of them, plus like a weird little stamper. So what I'm gonna do is take, move this into focus a little bit. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so I'm gonna kind of do a gradient stamping for you today. This is, um, as you can see, OPI by Nicole. It is a dual chrome polish, kind of a green to blue, purplish. I'm gonna take a gold wet and wild and a silver wet and wild. And I have a few different kinds of scrapers. This one is a big no-no, okay? No metal scrapers, I don't even know why they give that to people, get off my table. Okay, so I actually have a card I like to use and I have it little cut so it's smaller on the end if I wanna do like little something details. All right, this is a new one that I got and I actually really like this is kind of winged. Okay, let's show you guys here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for this really dark design over here 
And I'm gonna put the gold, let's move this out of the way. Gold on the outside of this henna, looking kind of stamp. This dual chrome kind of squished in the middle. I've used a lot of this polish. And the silver on the outside kind of mixed in. So we're gonna get our stamper ready, and I believe the rubber stamper works best for this. Line it up with the side and scrape. I like to scrape a few times back and forth. I think that's something people don't do, but I do. Ooh, that came out absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can see that because of all the glare and this horrible light. All right, so I'm going to move over to our dark purple and I'm going to pick a nice gradient spot and roll on. Oh, look at that. See, this is what me what happens. I talked and this got ruined. So I'm going to clean off with the tape. This is why I put a whole bunch down. And this is also when I want to show you guys my fails too because I learned from watching people's fails. I don't know about you guys. So I clean that off and what I have is a makeup sponge and a pump dispenser for my acetone and I wipe the plate off and I'm gonna try again. We're gonna go for gold, dual chrome, silver, scrape, stamp, and place. There we go. See, now that works better. As you can see, things actually look very nice in that second one. You see how it was kind of like, I uh, got my groove going, you got things done nicely, and it ends up looking so beautifully if you just have your pattern. All right, and I don't know if you can see, but that's really pretty, like a color kind of gradients. Next, we're gonna move on to my more expensive plate one of my more expensive plates. This has kind of circles and designs. I really got it because I love this uh, natural leaf design here. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this one for a more lighter approach. I'm gonna take the OPI that I just got at the dollar store, and I'm gonna take Nicole again by OPI, and I'm gonna use that leaf pattern to do something fun. I'm gonna kind of smoosh it around together. I've never used either of these polishes for stamping, but we shall see. We're gonna use my jelly stamper this time. Sorry, you guys are out of focus. All right, let's scrape, scrape. Stamp. Oh my gosh, that transferred beautifully. And we're going to place. This is why I love stamping. Guys, look at how pretty that turned out. Let me show you. See, look at, oh, I'm dropping everything. Look at how beautiful and clear and nice that came out. I'll lift it up to the camera for you guys. Kind of a dual color. It's just, it's so pretty. I'm going to do one more for you guys in more of a lighter um, on the lighter one, rather. See, so I'm gonna get out a little color. I'm gonna use a little LA Colors Red, and this is my new go-to amazing, fabulous red. I love this stuff. I don't know why, it's just so much more creamier than other ones. It really is just so opaque and awesome. One coat on your nails. Then I'm gonna go to Sinful Colors in this kind of uh, copper color and we're going to use this little, it's kind of like a, like feathers and leaves, again, kind of a henna design. And we're gonna go in with these two. I'm gonna get everything all ready, make sure that my rubber stamper is clean before I do anything. You always wanna clean, 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 because I forget and then I ruin my design because I have to go back and clean out a little and fresh tape always works better I'm sorry you guys get to see this in real time 
Anyways, we're going to go in with our little copper color back and forth across this design. See how I kind of smeared it a little bit? It doesn't have to be even because I kind of want the design to come out more like splattered. Okay, I'm going to squeeze it a few times, come in with my rubber stamper. Oh my gosh, guys, that looked, oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. Okay, so I'm going to pick it up and roll it on. Ugh, again, came out beautifully because I was swift about it. Look at how pretty that came out. So I'm going to end with that because we're over 10. Oh, sorry, guys. Um, but if you, what I'm going to, what I would do is I would end it with a clear coat on top and just gently let it w wait for it to dry and then gently peel the edges with like a little cuticle pick or my knife. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry, I'm so rambly. And again, for the like, if you enjoyed my video, please subscribe, leave a comment and like. I'll talk to you guys later.